Today we're going to be learning how to do a 360 flip or a tray flip. This is our second tutorial. Alright, so a 360 flip is when the board does a 360 backside and a kick flip. Put them together and you get a tray flip or a 360. Alright, so a couple tricks you want to know before you start learning how to tray flip is good kick flips. Pop shove it's down like it's nothing. And burial flips maybe. Burial flips will help you. Tray flip, I typically put my feet, my front foot to go somewhere around this area. It doesn't really matter, it just depends on what trick you're doing or what style of the tray flip you're trying to do. So my back foot, I put it where you can grip your toes off the end of the board, like, like that. That helps with the flip a lot easier. So, so it's about right there. You have your feet ready for the tray flip. What you want to do as you're bending down is shift your weight over to your back foot, like, like 65% of your weight on this foot, and then like the rest of the percent on this foot. So then, when you jump down, you're gonna scoop. Like you would a pop of it or a variable flip, but uh, probably twice as hard because it's the actual rotation. So when you scoop, you're not going to want to keep your foot on there the whole time because then it's not going to flip. Whenever you scoop, you're going to scoop it fast and then let go so it can flip easier. So after you scoop, your foot's going to be up here and you're just going to flick it off the side really gently. Like not like super hard or else you're going to do like a half like 270 because the more you flick, the less rotation you get. So if you don't flick at all, it's going to do more rotation. Hope you found all of that helpful. Uh, this isn't an easy trick. Well, it is after you get like 100 of them. It took me about, about three weeks. Get them like I have them now. And.